Andrew Tate's manager has just responded to Destiny, who is famous at the moment for hating on Andrew Tate. A bit about Destiny, he's a streamer. He's also in quite a strange relationship where his wife is allowed to cheat on him with other men. And he's obviously been very vocal about Andrew Tate's relationships, criticizing them heavily. Andrew Tate is actually an infinitely bigger cuck than I am. Like, I, at least my girlfriend only gets fucked by one dude at a time. Andrew Tate has 40 girlfriends, all of them exposing their pussy to thousands of men around the world simultaneously, while he's sitting there writing the fucking sexting messages for him. In a way, Andrew Tate is kind of like the ultimate cuck. He's sharing multiple girlfriends at the same time with thousands of men at the same time while he's sexting those men for fucking money. What could be more cucked than telling a man you wanna suck his dick while pretending to be your girlfriend that's showing her pussy to the whole world? I think a lot of people would say that his relationships are weird and he is in no position to criticize others on relationships when he lets his wife get plowed by other men. Every one of these loud sort of left-leaning haters coming after the Tates. Wow, they, they might they have terrible lives. Yeah. Like they're not happy. Recognition. They're not happy people, yeah. man. They're not happy people. If you look at the people that hate on Andrew, they're like fat, soy boys, depressed, you know, oh, actual, million actual genders. cucks yeah. as well. Like, C yeah, but committed cucks. committed cucks. Yeah. That blue haired guy, I don't want to even say his name, the one who was recently insulting Islam and then complaining that people were making negative comments back at him. Strange. Claims to be an intelligent man but doesn't realize that if you insult the religion of 1.1 1 .1 two billion people you might get some negative comments thrown back at yeah, you. Yeah, that wasn't smart. He's a committed cuck. Yeah. Like he lives with a woman who is sleeping <laughs> with other men and he's okay with that. Yeah. Like how how do people exist like that? It is so haram and, and you can see it in him. He's clearly a broken person. But if you're a broken person who's allowing other men to plow through your woman, what credibility do you have to give opinions on anything? <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, go and fix your life before you want to throw shade at people who are actually living fulfilling daily realities. These yeah. people are, it's, it's, I didn't know they existed. It's really an interesting social experiment to, to analyze the fact that they think they have a right to say anything about men who are vastly superior in every metric in life to them. Apart from the fact that they have a few people who watch them on the internet. Yeah. Fix your life, friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's quite simple. That's the beautiful thing about the, the left. They're good at arguing against reality but reality is a very stubborn thing. Re reality <laughs> wins in the end. So the, now just because if we just because we don't put our family members out o on social media, unlike Mr. Bluehead Cuck, who, you know, you, <laughs> with one Google search, you can see that, you know, she's getting plowed regularly. Yeah. Yeah. All of these people coming off the tape, what have you done for society? Yeah. What did you do to support the Ukrainian refugee push when it was happening? Yeah. What are you doing for, you know, this, the, the social gaps in, in your society? These leftist liberals hating on the Tates. Man, I'm sorry, they're too broke. A lot of them to even yeah. help their society. They criticize, but they don't help. Yeah, and they, and also there's a reason why the Tates and people like you and I are doing well. It's because we work. Yeah. No, constant work. Andrew Tate's manager is completely correct. I think that Destiny does seem to be very confident in what he says. If you really look into what Destiny is saying, a lot of it is just sort of waffle and not really grounded in reality. I'm actually really hoping that some of you who are watching this video disagree with me because I really want to change people's minds and just seriously think to yourself, why are you listening to these people? Really think about who it is you're taking this information from. What do they want from you? And who are they actually? If you really look at Destiny or Hassan or Ethan Klein, they're either out of shape depressed in very strange relationships why would you listen to these people and i'll end on this never take advice from people who are living a life that you would not want to live and i think this rings true at the moment